Hello, this is Nini Icasas from Pathways of Hope. All of us have favorite movie characters or characters from books that we read. The characters play an important role in a story. They bring out the plot of the story, they can entertain, or they can even teach a lesson. In today's Gospel, taken from Luke chapter 7, verses 36 to 50, there are three characters in the story. There is Jesus, Simon the Pharisee, and an unidentified woman who washed Jesus' feet with her tears. What can we learn from the characters of today's Gospel? I am sure we have focused many times on the repentant woman. Today, we are going to focus not on a hero, not even the Bida, as you would call it in Filipino. We will focus on Simon the Pharisee. You see, not all the Pharisees were enemies of Jesus. In fact, Simon invited Jesus over to his home. He was probably curious about Jesus, or he could have been a secret admirer of Jesus, or he was trying to catch Jesus say something that could be taken against him. It was the custom then that whenever someone invited a rabbi to his home, all kinds of people would come to listen to him. So it was not surprising that a woman not invited to come, a woman of the streets would suddenly appear at Simon's house, bringing an alabaster of fragrant oil. This woman went behind Jesus weeping. He began to wash his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with oil. When Simon the Pharisee saw this, he said to himself, If this man were really a prophet, he would know what sort of woman this is who is touching him. She's a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Can you imagine how surprised Simon must have been? Jesus knew what he was thinking. Simon did not even utter a word, and yet Jesus knew what was going on in his mind and heart. Yes, God knows us. He knows our thoughts. He knows our deepest feelings. Even before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it all. Nothing can be hidden from God. He knows the self-talk that goes on in our minds and hearts. He knows when we are being critical, suspicious, and judgmental of others. He knows when we look down at others because they're not as rich as we are, as intelligent as we are, or not even as holy as we are. He knows what we do for the public to see. He knows when we are sincere and when we are not. My dear friends, Jesus warns us to guard our thoughts. They turn into actions. He says, above all else, guard your hearts. For everything that you do flows from it. Isn't that such a powerful verse? Guard your heart for everything that you do flows from it. So on those occasions when we are suspicious, critical, and judgmental of others, let's not yield to those thoughts. Guard those thoughts. Change those internal monologues into dialogues with God. Say a prayer. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit 
within you. If you've been blessed by this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Pathways of Hope. Again, this is Nini Casas. Thank you, and God bless.